Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to look at using the sweep surface. I've been using the sweep surface quite a bit uh, now that I've figured out the way that it works well. And there was a thread on the zone with a, a customer that just was having a hard time understanding the way that uh, the way that this uh, this sweep surface works because both of our profiles are flat in the XY plane and they are not intersecting with each other. So you know, I have this star and I have this uh, portion of an ellipse. When I create my sweep surface, I use an attachment point. So I have an attachment point drawn right on, on center. I select the star and then I select the ellipse. And here you can see that my swept surface has been created. And really it's attaching the star perpendicular to the profile automatically using that attachment point and I can change where that attachment point is but I think this is what he's struggling with is that I don't have to draw this geometry intersecting if I was using a another design system I would have to uh, make sure these two profiles intersected with each other or were perpendicular uh, with each other which is actually what I struggled with for a long time because I kept drawing the shapes perpendicular to each other and then it would fail and fail and fail so to kind of exemplify this a bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this ellipse, oh, wrong side, I'm going to trim this, uh, I'm going to trim this ellipse so that it doesn't make it all the way down to this x-axis here, and then we'll run it again, and you'll see that the result is the, the star itself will be perpendicular to that endpoint there, so we'll pick our attachment, I'm sorry, we'll pick our attachment point, We'll select our profile and then we'll select our chain and you can see even though I changed it so it didn't make it all the way down, um, it still followed, uh, it, it's, inter, uh, its attachment point becomes perpendicular to the end of that chain. So it's a, a really powerful feature. I, I like it quite a bit. Uh, once I kind of figured out how it worked, uh, I, I've used it more, uh, more and more. What am I doing here? I've used it more and more since then. Uh, it doesn't look like it wants me to trim this anymore. I'm not, it's not letting me trim it anymore. But anyways, you get the idea. Great feature, uh, very, very useful. And you don't have to take the time to intersect the geometry or draw it perpendicular to each other. You can work with it right where it is. Let me undo, undo. There we go. So if we get back to here, let's do utilities, break, divide. Let's go into two pieces. It's already broken, so let's get rid of this section. You know, and now we can uh, sweep this through. So we'll do sweep. Go from there, go around to here and you can see that it just does a great job here. So I think he wanted me to do uh, some additional, uh, like a star shape with more more stars. It's really gonna be the same, same scenario. That attachment point will become the point in which the star is driven along perpendicular to the end of the chain that's selected. So uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feedback, please let me know. Uh, reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.